during the lockdown period of 2020, I started a habit of making morning tweets so that on my drive to work, I would notice something and it felt important to me to do a setting down of time, really. I haven't dropped that habit since then. And the poems I'm going to share now come from January 2023 and take us to March 2023. So what normally happens is I'll do the tweets, then I'll collect those and then I will make a poem. And I've often created something there that I would like to share. So I usually share them on Top Tweet Tuesday. So my thanks to uh, that platform for giving these poems an airing. Anyway, if you like listening to poems, here they are. This first one is Friday 13th of January 2023. A week ago, the sky still midnight blue held the wolf moon high to exhibit it. Yesterday, the morning had only smudged light. Today I listen in. I hold snow, whispers the wind, and the clouds steal the moon. This next one is early February. 2023. I drive out early, just before sunrise. Last night's full moon has bleached the air and that clouded blue jaguar is leaping in the sky again. I hear spring stretching in my heart as the chorus begins to sound. This one is quarter to six on the last day of February 2023. A black cat parades the orange headlights of its eyes as street lights switch off. And the next one became a prose poem, maybe because I don't like snow. It's called I am driving on a cold March day. And there are voices in my head. Two of them. I am transporting a large number of polystyrene-esque balls of snow below my windscreen. The voices started their argument when I overtook a trailer labelled racehorses. Racehorses, one of them echoed. It's an anagram of orchestra. The other is unsure. Is it? It asks. Are you certain? I let them fight it out as the spring sunshine gathers its strength. I don't take sides until the second says, Cart horse, you mean cart horse. This one is one Thursday in March 2023. A deflated helium balloon, bright pink, in the highest branches of a tree, is a heron, lifting its head in praise at sunrise, urging me to see. This one is early March. Yesterday, a crow carried out a close inspection of a chimney pot. Three more were beaked down, fascinated on the tarmac. All silent. This one's called The Black Rabbit. This morning, I forget to notice the sunrise. The sky pinks suddenly, as if it has fast-forwarded an hour within one slow, blurred blink. Then, from my last dark journey home, I vividly recall the black rabbit on the verge. The way its eyes met mine through glass. How quickly I broke the stare, fearing I was calling it to me. And this final one is March ended grey. Buds held their green in tight fists. All I had was that flamenco dance on damp tarmac from a voiceless crow. Then, after days, a flash of colour and muscle, a single mallard coming into land. I hope you enjoyed those and thank you for listening.